continuing with passive ways that we can gather fish resources, what we're going to do is create an improvised speed hook, which I'm going to get into this here in a little bit, but I want to show you what we're recreating using improvised methods first, so you understand the concept of what we're going. This is a commercial military speed hook, and I've got one set out there, but these come basically just like this, and it's just a little spring. It's already got a hook on it. You'll tie that out just like I've got it tied over there. And then you kind of set it almost like a little mouse trap. But what it does is once you're actually hooked in, let me get this going right. Once you're hooked in and it's got tension on it, that string's actually on the center right there. See how that works? And whenever a fish takes that, that pulls it and it's basically like jerking and actually setting that hook. Does that make sense? So that's what we're trying to recreate. This is a commercial version, military speed hook. We're recreating that <clears throat> off the landscape with some bank line. So what we've done is the same thing. We've got the Y-shaped stick that you can find in the tree. Green and stretchy the better. This one's pretty tight, so what you want is, once that's compressed, you want it to still have enough spring to actually set that hook for you. Taking another small little trigger stick here and it's got opposing number seven notches all right opposing those correspond with flat edges on the other side of these this is kind of just tied off using two clove hitches and that's more that has nothing to do with the function of the trap it has more to do with after it's gone you can find your trigger stick it just keeps it secure all right it's lashed here in a disappearing knot that comes through and then there's a small loop on this side because that's what actually recreates the same thing that we're doing over there. So for this one, I'll set that side pretty deep, squeeze those together, and depending on how far you actually give it purchase inside that second notch, that's kind of how you adjust your sensitivity. Then I'll take it, drape it over, and I'll go over one more time. So now when this is hanging from a tree, this goes down, I've just got a, uh, a fixed loop, an end-of-line bowline on here that I can put hooks on, put whatever. That's what actually goes out into the water, and you want to size this to what you're going after, just like we're going to talk about for all these traps. But now when something takes that, it pops that trigger bar off, and it spreads it and sets the hook just like a commercial speed hook. So this is an improvised speed hook. Anybody have any questions over these? You guys see the rig that I have out here? Same thing. Just coming off the limb line, and just so there's no resistance, I've got this just above the water, All right? And that's set with some uh, freshwater mussel. So I can set those out pretty quick, or I can build as many of these as I want back in camp, set them out, leave them up all night, come back in the morning, and just gather up the resource that we caught. Questions? All right, so we're gonna recreate one of these. So what I want you to do is pass this around and make sure you take a look at how we made this. We'll leave all the stuff setting out for you guys to build. Yeah, it's all going to be down here. I'll hang them right off of here so you guys can find it. Just don't hook yourself on speed hooks.